So the first thing you're going to need to do is go and find some of these limpet shells. Um, as you can see, I've got a few different sizes there. Just make sure it's nice and clean. And then you want a white acrylic paint. Any brand will do. And we're just going to put a small coat on the inside of the shell. Might need to wiggle your brush about for the middle a little bit. Try not to get it on the outside of the shell just the inside, just like that. And then leave it to dry. So the first thing you need to do for this part is take a napkin and tear out. So you're just going to tear out the bits you want. You don't cut it, you just tear it. When you've torn out the bits you want, we've got to then separate the plies. And if there's a three ply napkin, that means you've got to take three pieces off. So that's or you've got to take into three pieces. So that's one. This one can be a bit tricky, but trust me, it's there somewhere. There it is. Just very carefully. And it's just this top, really thin, tissuey piece that we need. Right, take your shell. And you want some Mod Podge or normal PVA will do. I'm using this because I want it gives a slightly harder finish. And you're going to coat inside your shell with the Mod Podge. Don't be too stingy. You don't need loads on, but don't be too stingy because the tissue's got to stick to it. Then pick your tissue up with the back of your brush. Saves your fingers getting stuck and sticky. And very gently push it into the shell. Now, inevitably there will be creases because of, the shape, of the, sh the shape of the shell. But very gently, you're just going to Glue round on top of it. Get some more glue if you need to. And it's quite pliable. So as I say, you will have creases. Normally you wouldn't have that if you were decoupaging something flat. And then you're going to take it all the way around the edge like this. That's probably a bit too much glue. Take it all the way around the edge, slightly dragging it down. Not too much because it is tissue paper and it will tear. But what we're trying to do here is give you a nice ridge to rip off when it's a bit drier. So if I go back to one I've done earlier, just pop that down. These are some I've done earlier. Just going to go and pick one of those up. We'll have this one. This is a bit drier now. So I'm just going to very gently go around the edges and peel off the excess paper. I prefer to do this when it's a little bit damp with the glue. I feel it tears better. Just tuck that in. Okay, and we'll tidy this edge up in the next step. So just make sure there's no excess paper on there. And we'll come back to these and we'll show you the next bit. So the last thing, when they're all dry, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of this Deco Art metallic paint. And I'm just going to paint the rims. They look like that. Doesn't that look like porcelain? So just a little bit of paint and we're just going to paint round really carefully just the rim of the shell. It just adds a little bit to it, I think. And I quite like the gold, but I have done some in blue, which I'll show you in a minute, which look really nice. But the metallic paints are really good in this range. I maybe got a little bit too much on my brush there, but you should pour it out, I suppose, into a, a receptacle. I'm too lazy. There we go. 
And if I just scan over, see the ones that are done in different colours. So I've got a blue on there. So hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Have a go, send me some photographs and come back soon. Happy crafting!